Hi there, I'm Rani. I need to teach you something very important today, as I always do about life. Um, what to do in an emergency situation. Um, these can be very serious. Uh, a lot of people say, don't panic. Well, guess what? If my house is on fire, I'm going to panic. Um, but the thing to do is to remain calm. I'm not going to be calm. I'm going to panic. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my phone. And because I live in Canada, if even if I lived in America, I would dial 911. 911 will direct you to the emergency operator. If you are living in Britain or in the UK, the code is 999. If you live in Australia and you're on a home phone or a landline, the number is 000. And strangely enough, if you have a cell phone or a mobile phone in Australia, you're going to do 112. You're going to dial 112. In New Zealand, the code is different. New Zealand is 111. Apparently, if you call 000 in New Zealand, it tells you, <clears throat> please hang up and dial 111. While your house is burning down, we are sorry. I hope you don't die. Um, so these numbers are really important for you to remember, depending on where you live. I'm sure that your country maybe has um, an emergency call number, um, depending on what country you live in. I obviously don't know all the country's code numbers, but it's going to be probably a three-digit number, and it's probably something that's hopefully easy to remember. So. As I said, when you call these numbers, you're going to get an operator, and the operator is going to say, fire, ambulance, or police. What's ambulance? Fire, we all know fire. Fire is when your house is burning down and you're running for your life. If you say fire, you're going to be directed to the fire department, and they're going to roll out the fire truck. A fire truck is a huge usually red or brightly colored truck that has a siren that goes, Wee! I can't do this siren. Um, every country's emergency vehicles have different sirens. Um, it's very important as well when you're driving that if you hear a siren, you must stop and pull over to the side of the road. If you, oh, they're coming. I hear them now. If they, if you do not pull over and stop, you will get a ticket. Um, because they're going to they're gonna stop their fire truck and give you a ticket. No, they're not. It's illegal. It means you when you hear a siren and you're driving, you must pull your car over so the emergency vehicle can get through. So the fire truck is the big, beautiful red trucks that all the children love. And in the fire trucks, there are what we call firefighters or a firefighter. Predominantly, or I would wager a guess that 90% of firefighters are men. Um, the reason being, apparently, is that women, um, no, let's rephrase that. You have to be strong enough to be able to lift up a person, put them on your back, and run with them. Um, obviously, women can do this and are strong enough, but it seems to be a male-dominated occupation. So most of the time we would see firemen or plural fire, sorry, fireman in the singular or plural firemen. Easier, you can just say firefighters. The next one is if you have an accident, let's say that you hurt yourself, you broke some bones or someone is having a heart attack. Maybe you saw a car accident. Maybe you're in a car accident. Please don't be in a car accident. Um, if you're able, you can dial 911 and you would ask for the ambulance. Some people would call an ambulance um, emergency car, but it is the proper name is ambulance. When you call an ambulance, it'll take you to the hospital and they'll take you to the emergency or the urgent care department. If you are not in an ambulance, um, you can still go to these departments, but the ambulance 
if you arrive in an ambulance, you'll be the first person seen um, in the hospital. On, as a side note, if you call an ambulance and it is not an emergency, like you broke your nail or something, you will be charged a lot of money if it is a false alarm or if you do not really need an ambulance. Um, the last one is police. So the operator will say fire, ambulance, or police. Police um, are supposed to help you if you witness a crime or you're involved in a crime. For example, if someone's trying to rob you or you see a robbery, someone's, God forbid, getting murdered, or if you're witness to a murder. Um, any general help that you need, the police should help you if you call 911. Um, the generic name is a police officer. This is used just like firefighters for men and women. Or you could have a policeman or a policewoman. Obviously, this is the man and this is the woman. And in slang, we can also call police officers a cop or cops. There's even a TV show called Cops where they go around and, and arrest people. Have you seen that? It's really wonderful entertainment. Um, I hope that you never have to use these, but I hope that you learned a lot from the lesson. Please try and look at what country you're in and what the emergency code is and understand fire, ambulance, and police.